They keep pulling to test it. So right now everything looks good. Your body looks good. His head looks good. Your reins are nice. They're short, but they're loose. They're not pulling on him at all. Yep. His walk is nice. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's good. And now he's not pacing down this hill anymore. Hold him. <laughs> yep, go a little bit slower. Good. But you'll even see once you watch the video in time, you might see that when he's going uphill, his legs are more separated. When he goes downhill, the legs on the same side are trying to move together, which is a pace. Yep. So uphill, we'll always be able to go faster. And at least with him for now, downhill, we'll have to keep him a little slower. But it's helpful to know that too, because if in time we want to get him to rack, we might run them down hills and it gets them into a rack and then you can go fast. <laughs> a little bit pacey going down the hill, so slow down more. So it'll feel more bumpy and weird because they're pacing. But they all tend to do that because it's easier to do that than to actually use their muscles. And you'll feel bad, but in the end, when he's it's stronger and uses muscles, it's better for him. It's like us going to the gym. We hate it, but we know it's a good thing for us. <laughs> Of course, we'd rather sit on the couch and eat. So going down the hill is like him sitting on the couch and eating. Little faster is you're just going to squeeze with both legs. If he doesn't respond immediately, hit him with the tassel. Okay. So now think of asking just for a faster walk. So you're going to squeeze with both legs. Now just keep that. That's good. Now it's one, two, three, four. He's got such short legs I can't even count that fast. <laughs> one, two, three, four. But you see, he's not going fast. It's just that his legs are short. One, two, three, four. Yep. Now he's slowed down a little bit, but we're going to start going down the hill. So as you go down the hill, I sit way back on my seat pockets and I half halt like every step, but I keep my leg on him and that helps to keep him out of the pace and keeps him, keeps the same speed. So that's much better. He's not pacing. Good. So now you'll keep that speed. And then once it gets flat and we start going uphill, add a little bit more leg. Now we'll try to get him back to the speed you were at. So a little bit faster, a little bit more. So we see his head going up and down. A little bit more. Keep going. That's better. Now it might not feel much because it's a walk, but you'll feel your hips shifting more and then his mane will go back and forth more. Yep. So here it'll start going downhill. So you'll keep the same speed for now, but sit back and you'll half halt, then release, then half halt, then release, then half halt, then release. He's like, what the hell's going on today? <laughs> Who showed up at my house? Yep, now you're gonna ask him for the speed again, cause now it's flat and then we're going back uphill. So a little bit more leg. Good. So right there is good. That's a much better flat walk. So now try to keep that speed. Now he's going to slow down. So a little bit more leg because as they go uphill, they always slow down. That's good. One, two, three, four. Yep. Very good. So try and keep that. And just remember, as you go down the hill, you'll sit back and you'll half halt every step, but keep a little leg so he doesn't stop. And that's how you keep your speed, but keep him on his back end. So it's just squeeze, relax, then squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. What are you doing? Yep. Now go faster again. That was just his stifle giving out, but that's okay. A little bit faster. Good. So now try and go around the whole arena and just keep this speed. Go forward when he's on the flat and up the hill, and then down the hill, you're kind of half halting and helping him. So a little faster, because you were going faster before. Right there is good. Now you can really see his head shake. And you got a little ear flopping. It's here and there, but it's there. A little ear what? Uh, flopping. So when they're relaxed and they're gating, their ears flop with the motion.
And as, if you watch Big's video, he does it extreme. So watch it and you'll see it on him. But he has big ears also. Yep, but ear, anytime their ears flop, it's a sign you're doing the right thing. Yep, so there he's just getting a little pacey, but not bad. So you just kind of half halt, but you're still moving back and forth in the saddle. You're not bouncing. Okay, so you're doing good. So since you're doing good, we're going to try and go a little faster. <laughs> so now we're going to try and go the next speed, but wait until you start going up the hill. Okay. Yep, okay, so now start going faster. So more leg. Good. Now try to keep that speed, but you'll see his head came up just a little bit. So don't let it get any higher though. Now he slowed down. So more leg again, more leg, more leg. He's like, I hate this lady. <laughs> Not you, me. Good. Keep going. Now, when you get to the downhill again, this speed is fine as long as he doesn't get pacey. So we'll see what happens right now. You're perfect. Your body looks great. It looks beautiful. His legs are still separated and you're not bouncing up and down. Now he's trying to get a little pacey, so you might have to put a half halt in like every couple steps. Yeah, and then stay this speed because if we speed up now, he'll be pacey. So we're staying slow for a second. Now start asking for more speed again because now he's on the flat and he's going uphill. So that helps to get them more on the trotty side so they don't pace. That's good. Really nice. Yep. Now you're good, but if at any point you're asking for speed and the head goes sky high, you're going to put pressure on him to bring his head down. But right pressure now you're on the rain. Yes, you'll put pressure on the rain if his head gets really high, because you'll see as we increase the speed, he starts throwing his head up some. And again, so far it's not a problem, but as we get more speed, it might become one. Yep, you're still good. He's not pacing yet. Yep. And this also helps their stifles, their muscles around it, because they're having to use that back end. Good. Now a little bit faster again. Now see his head come up some. So the hard part, when it comes up, you're going to hold, but push with your leg, because you're trying to get his head down, but still keep the same speed. That was good. Yep. That's all you had to do. A little bit more leg. He got slow again. It's hard because we don't realize it. It's the same thing when we trail ride. We'll push them and then all of a sudden everybody's walking and they didn't know what happened. So we're trying, whoever's leading, we try to get them to keep the same speed, right. you know, set the rhythm. And if it's going downhill, we all slow down a little bit, but then we go right back to that same speed a again. Bit more. He's kind of going the same speed. So more, more, keep going. Good. So now he's kind of just doing like a fast, fast flat walk, or we could call it a running walk. But he's but he's doing the same kind of footfall. It's the back leg, the front leg, the other back leg, the front leg. So again, we'll stay slow here. And then as soon as you hit that flat part, try to get him right back up to speed. That's good. Don't let his head get any higher. A little bit more leg, or you can get the stick from Vanka, whatever you want to do. That's good. And then just keep that speed. So if he changes, I'll tell you if he changes gait, but keep that. Now a little bit more leg, because now we're halfway up and they get slower. A little bit more, more, or tap them, do something. Yep. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, now start asking them for speed again. So think a fast walk, and you're moving back and forth in the saddle. Don't let his head get any higher. That's better. 
So nice. Yep. And then just keep that walk. That's beautiful. Yep. Now more leg now. This is where he gets slow. They always get slow in the same spots. Yep. Keep after them, even if it's a fight. And then just go around and do it Fast again. Fast walk again. Fast as he can walk. But it feels like the same gait. That's it. Yep. Very good with your hands. You're doing the exact right thing, keeping his head down. Yep, little leg there, because there he got slower. He's like, where'd Vanka go? <laughs> she, she left. I can't hide to her anymore. A little bit more leg now. A little bit more. Yep, maybe tap him. Keep annoying him. Keep going. And you want to wait until it's flat, and he starts kind of going up the hill so it doesn't get pacey. So right about now, start adding some speed, but sit back. Keep his head down. A little bit more leg. A little bit more. A little bit more. Good. Now try to keep that. Oops, he already lost it. Yep. And it's hard because it's easy going super fast and super slow. It's hard doing the in-between. So see if you can make him walk fast again down this hill, and then we'll try to get more speed coming up. Start going faster again. Yep, bring his head down. A little bit more leg. A little bit more. There you go. Keep going. He's kind of in between. He gets it and then he goes out of it. So we still got to get a little bit more speed. Right. So now bring your energy up and get him to go. A little bit more. Tap, tap, tap with that stick. That's good. Then try to bring his head down a little, but don't slow down. Just a little. That's fine. Now keep that. See if he can keep that even going down the hill if possible. No, if possible. Keep going. He's like, ugh. Oh. Keep going. Now going down the hill, it'll feel different because they'll get more on that lateral side, which is the pacey side, but keep going. You just kind of keep half halting and sitting back. He can go downhill pretty fast. Good, so once you get by the cones, a little bit more speed again. Yep, now go forward. Keep going, go faster. There we go. Then bring his head down just a little, just a little, but keep the speed. There you go. So bring his head down. I think. Yep. Now start speeding him up a little bit more. So right there, he's getting a little bit of a hard. Yeah. Was that a no, that was a pace. He looked like he was getting more trotty, but I, I was staring at you. So we'll try it again and then I'll tell you for sure. Okay, so start going faster. Now he's more on the trotty side. That's good though. That's his gait. Keep going. Go faster. He's losing it. He's slowing down. So you're doing great. The worst thing that's happening is he's slowing down. So just try it again. for speed sit back keep after him a little bit more more there you go now his head's a little high keep the speed but just to tuck his head a little bit yep so you did good his head came down enough he just slowed down Same time yeah because sometimes it's too much to do all of it all right so now try and go faster that's good so he's good He's kind of changing his footfall. He started off a little fox trotty, then he got a little lateral for a second, and then it switched back. So try it again. But keep walking fast down this hill. And just remember, if it feels choppy, you'll sit back because it means he's pacing and you'll just half halt. But you're going to try and keep the speed. All right, now start going faster. You might have to tap, tap, tap with that stick. That's right, that's correct. Yep, and then just try it again.
All right, so now you're going to start asking for speed. That's it. Yep, tap, tap, tap maybe with that stick. Good. Now there he tried to kind of half canter, so yeah. you just give a little half halt, but then you keep your legs. So once he comes out of the canter, he keeps going. Yep, and just go around and do it again. Yep. So keep, keep that speed for now because he's still a little on the pacey side. Now start going faster. Yep. Don't lean too much because he might think you want a canter. There you go. A little half halt, but keep your leg on him. So on that side, when you ask him to go faster, you lean forward a little bit to get him to go. But I think he thinks that's more the cue to canter off. So he starts getting a little canter step and then he's gating. He's kind of in between. So when you ask him again, ask him to go, but try not to lean as much. Just use your leg or your lean stick. Forward or back? Uh, you're leaning forward. So okay. you just want to sit up just like you're sitting right now. Okay. So to get him to go, we don't want to move our body to do it. We just want our leg or our seat to do it. So stay slow. Now start slowly speeding up, but don't lean. Sit back and leg, 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 then stick. That was better. There he didn't try to canter. He got his head up, but it's perfectly fine. Yep. And just try to keep going. Sit back a little bit more. So don't lean forward. Just leg or seat or stick to get him to go forward. Good. Sit up nice and tall. Yep. Keep going. So you had it and then he kind of lost it in between. You, you, you were fox riding and then he just kind of went to flat walking. Yep. And it will stop. Okay. So to remember, don't lean. Just keep sitting and leg and be a little bit mean with them. Remember, his board costs a lot. He needs to work. That was good. Good. Now I'd stop and give him a break because that was a good